I started writing uh, about six years ago now, and I had just had to. You know how it is, people who write and who make things and have to create things. You just have to. And I didn't know what I was going to do with any of it because I never felt like I had anything to say that anybody would want to hear. But it's like acne or something. Like you just, just like comes out. So anyway. Um, and of course, I write about the North, and I write about Inuit and Inuit in the North and in the South. I've lived in Montreal for 13 years. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have continued connections with the North. My my day job is wonderful, and I'm always, in fact, I'm going uh, up to Arctic Quebec on Monday. Lucky me, and I go up several times a year. So, um, The next piece is called Battery. And it's about um, conjugal violence. And I thought I was pretty smart calling it battery. Because, you know, people think of double A's when they hear that word. <coughs> In case of fire, leave quickly and quietly. You will find yourself drawn to things. Do not stop. The smoke may make you sleepy. Do not yield yourself or your children. The flame that started low and hot in the corner, the one through which you thought you might sleep, to wake and find it had diminished or disappeared, will in fact have risen to eat you alive. Do not look directly into its eyes. Don't let on your leaving. If you must bring things, pile them quickly and haphazard into black bags like you're going to the trash. Hide your most precious jewels in your hair or between your teeth. Forget the photographs. They will only bring you pain when the house is burnt down to powdered black ash. Bring the deed to your house. It will serve as a remembrance for what once was. Under no circumstances must you tell the children there is a fire, for they will cry and want to cling to their beds, to the house. And lastly, and just in case, concerning the children, Commit their faces to memory. Every turn, every corner, every line. 